last week I asked you to ask me some questions or suggest topics for me to talk about or anything like that. And one of the questions that I got was who would win a fight between a great white shark and a suicide bomber? Now it wasn't really what I was expecting, but that's fine, I can live with that. So as promised, I will now attempt to answer that question. I think it's fair to say that it kind of depends on the arena of battle. If they are fighting in the water, then the shark immediately has the advantage. A, it can swim considerably better than a suicide bomber, regardless of what swimming certificates he's accomplished in his life. So the shark can breathe underwater just by moving, whereas I would imagine if a suicide bomber tried to move underwater, it would just make it harder to breathe and need to breathe more. If he's got scuba diving gear on, then he's not exactly going to be the most nimble. Um, so yeah, I think underwater the shark has the advantage. Then again, if the suicide bomber isn't bleeding at all, then it might make it difficult for the shark to actually find him. And so he can just kind of sneak up behind the shark and then just blow himself up. If this fight takes place on land, straight away the shark is pretty much immobilised. And so if as long as the bomber gets close enough to affect the shark by the explosion, unless the shark plays dead and then just kind of executes some sort of stealth flail and grabs him, the bomber's pretty much golden. Also does kind of depend on your definition of the term win. So if, a sh if the shark wins and kills the bomber, then the shark is, is fine, the shark is alive, lives to fight another day. Other bombers, other water dwelling animals of varying size. However, the only real way for the suicide bomber to win is to blow himself up and then take down the shark with him. And so while he might receive untold adoration from his peers for this great victory, he's not really going to know about it. And he wouldn't even know if he had won. He could easily just trigger his bomb and blow up, but not be close enough to the shark and just kind of wound it. And then the shark would just win by default. And so for that reason, I'm going to have to give it to the shark.